We're only human after all, aren't we? <laughs> We're only human after all. With all our flaws and all our imperfections. And yet we seem to want to be superhuman. We do. That's what we're going to be talking about in Get Real with the English Sisters this week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there is this strive for perfection that's growing stronger, I think, in today's world. I think it's growing stronger and stronger. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's something we have to push back against, I think. Because it's not good for our mental health. No, absolutely. I think it's we have to push against it because we see just images of perfection, of striving for perfection everywhere, yeah. all the time. And in this world of artificial intelligence as well, and it's only going to get more and more, there's going to be more and more of it around. Our humanity, as to say, we don't, sometimes we don't do things as perfect no, and it's, we like, struggle. it's like what yeah. they say when they've done scientific studies to look at um, faces that are most attractive. They're not actually perfect faces. There's always, really? yes, oh, there's I always asymmetrical aspects of it because one side of our body is always slightly different to the other. That's true, isn't it? And it's we, like one foot's bigger than the other yeah, slightly. Half yeah, half of our nose is longer than the other <laughs> half or right. shorter. Yeah. Yeah, and one eye might be bigger than the other. And we don't, we as humans, we don't actually like the perfect faces. We don't think, we? I no, thought we did. I we thought don't. we loved no, symmetry. No, we like symmetry, but not yeah. when it's too symmetrical. Right. So if it's too perfect, so like if you did, if you had, say, my face and then you did exactly the same with the other half of my right. face and yeah. then you did a scientific experiment and you looked at it, it would be people odd. would think it was odd. There's something mismatched about it. You don't, right. we don't want it in humans. Because it's not human. It's is not it? human, exactly. <laughs> if it's too perfect, we can it's not human. It. Yeah. So why do we always want, why are we always striving for perfection then? Yeah, it comes to mind, you know, that song, you're, you're only human, I'm only human after all. You know, Ragabone, uh, you're only human, <laughs> la la la. Yeah, it really makes me think about Don't that. Don't get me to sing it. No, I mean, my, <laughs> my voice is bad enough. I don't want to put you through that, but yeah. <laughs> but why not? You see, that's where we want to be perfect. We're not singers, so no, we just no. enjoy the tune. Yeah, I enjoyed the tune. Yeah, I, li I just listened to that song recently, and um, it's quite deep, actually. It's about, I think it's, you know, it's about how he tries to, you know, people come to him with a series of problems or he has a series of problems in his life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the, the constant repetition is, I'm only human after all. So and, there's only uh, so much I can do. Exactly. I can't fix everything. I can't, I can't, I can't do everything that's asked of me if it's too much for me, you know, because I'm only human. Mm. So do we, do you think we have to place more importance on that then? I do. The fact that we're human. <laughs> Definitely. Sort of embrace it and be happy about it. Be happy that we are different to robots. <laughs> be happy that we know what empathy is and we have all the kind of things that may hinder us, like feeling strong emotions. We might consider that to be like a weakness because mm. we might burst out crying in a moment when we think oh pull yourself together this isn't the time to start crying mm. that's a strong emotion that comes comes into play because you're human and so perhaps when things like this do happen to us it would be it would be lovely really if we just thought to ourselves well I'm, I'm only human I'm not only mm -hmm. I'm human that is why, because only, I don't even like that. You know, it's like, oh, you're only human. You're human. That's already a miracle. I think the fact that it's uh, you're only <clears throat> human means that we have to embrace our humanity. Yes, yes, yes. And the humane aspects of us. Yeah, the strong emotions, mm -hmm. the, the, the perhaps losing our temper when it, we're not supposed to lose it, mm. you know, and losing our cool, whatever <laughs> happens, uh, happens because we are human, absolutely. Mm. So we just look at us and say, that's a human. What do you mean? That's a well, human. if we see somebody in a tiff. Yeah, in the tiff, you, instead of getting angry, we say, well, that's a human. Yeah, you're right. 
that is going to be tomorrow's world. Mm. There will be a difference between the artificial intelligence, like the androids and, you know, and I mean, I know I've probably watched too many of these sci-fi <laughs> things, but I really do think they're going to become like, like in nursing, for example, there's already a range of robots that can help to take care of the elderly. And they're already in practice in Japan, for example, and they, they can take care of them very well. The, you know, like it's very simple things, obviously simple mansions like cleaning and cleaning the bed and certain things. But whereas perhaps a human would be find that tiring, you know, the repetition mm. of it or the, the heavy duty work of it. So what are you saying then? <laughs> I've probably lost you. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. I'm saying that. Uh, Do you where... think, are you saying as a humans we get sick of things? No, um, yes, as a human, we're, um, we're, not, we're not quite as, um, not, <laughs> help me out here, she's just staring at me, I'm, I'm the only human, I don't know, I've gone, I've gone down this sci-fi thing where I remember this film or whatever it was I was watching, and now I've got a bit distracted in my mind, but yes, what I'm trying to say is that if you had a choice, sometimes having a choice between a human nurse and a robot nurse, for example, you, do, you, you know. would you would choose a human nurse if you would hope that the human would be kind and gentle. Otherwise, you go not for not if the human would be in a temper and upset. No, exactly. So the human has its flaws. We have our flaws. We have our imperfections, and um, <laughs> and and obviously, you know, the androids and the robots probably. What I mean, hopefully, they don't have that because that's like into a horror movie. We're going into different movies here. No, I was remembering an episode of Modern Family where it was so funny where they got they got this intelligent fridge. I don't know if you remember it was ages ago. No. And um they they bought this fridge and in the end they were both talking to the fridge. You know, the fridge was saying, well, oh, I think you need a cocktail now. Would you like me to, to order one? Would you like me to prepare one for you? Like give you the suggestions. And everyone was talking to this um, to this fridge and getting comfort from comfort it. from it. So I was thinking maybe AI can give you comfort in the future. You know that will be something that perhaps <clears throat> will I come think, along. Uh, well, I think it will be able to give you comfort because it already does in so many ways. But it does, yeah. Um, I don't think that's what we this 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 episode really is about the fact that we have to accept our imperfections as humans and embrace them. <laughs> yes, thank you. Let's get back along the line. <laughs> because if we yes, don't, we do. that's when we get into trouble. Yes. When we try and be superhuman or be like artificial intelligence, we get into trouble because we're not that. We're and not we that. have but just as we have our imperfections, our imperfections can be perfections as we see in art art that's created by artificial intelligence has not has, doesn't have the same depth and meaning as someone that's maybe you know painted it themselves a human right, that's painted right, yeah. it because they have a whole load of different thought processes that of course wouldn't come to mind that yeah. for artificial intelligence yeah. even though it is getting better and better so what would you advise that we have to remember the fact that we're I think we do more. and we have yeah. to like like embrace it and be happy about it. So if we see our partners firing up and think, yeah, that's a nice thing, you know, not obviously not if they're abusive or uh, violent or anything, but I'm just talking about if they have a little they're moment upset, yeah. when they get upset about something, you have to acknowledge that we are human and that, that it's okay to get upset or fired up about something. Or to feel overwhelmed or yeah. anxious. Um, there's so many strong emotions that we can feel as humans and if there is a part of our personality that we we aren't comfortable with because we think it's like over the top so like if we think that for instance that we may get really fired up if after we've had a drink well maybe we can you know, we can think... Tweak it, yeah. We can tweak it yeah, and, yeah. and say, okay, I'm going to drink a little bit less, I'm not going to drink, because I don't like that aspect of my personality that comes out when I've been drinking, or whatever it is. Or if you know Have you a get conscious triggered, moment. Yeah, you get triggered it, yeah. by a friend that goes down the road, you know, that starts saying, well, you know, why haven't you got a partner yet, or why haven't you got your house yet? 
a friend or a family member because some people can trigger you, can't they? Yes. Yeah. Humans so are you, subject to triggers, and yeah, that's one of the things about they being will human. Keep <laughs> Thing. They'll, they're, yeah, you will we'll keep putting that you the, know, <laughs> knife in the wound if yeah. you have someone, if you know someone that does that to you. You know, maybe just choose to stay away from them for a bit. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think once you understand that they trigger you, it helps a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, you could say, oh, wait, well, you know, that's Knowledge one of my is... triggers. I have to go prepared to see them. Or if they just appear from nowhere, you can always... You know, sort of say, oh, I've got, I'm actually really busy now and go off somewhere if you know you're going to be triggered by them because, you know, obviously you, you don't always have a perfect answer for them, especially if you feel they're provoking you in some way, like what you were saying. It's yeah, kind of some sort of... Yeah, sometimes they're not, they're, not they're not doing it on purpose, it's not but millennium, it's just what but, they yeah. want for you. What so they want, they kind of they selfish. They want for yeah. you so that they project that wanting they have for your life. Yeah, <laughs> onto you. When it's yeah, and nothing it gets... to do with you, really. No, it it's just isn't. what they want for you. Yes, it it's is. their business. It's not your business. It's not your business. Yeah, <laughs> it's not your business. No, is but it? It, but it intertwines, doesn't it? Especially when it's family members when it's a or close loved ones, family friend. Yeah, or a someone that you're really close to it can intertwine mm. more than if it's just well that's a, being human once again isn't yeah. it you know what putting your why, wants why onto do, somebody yes, somebody why do else we want to do that as humans because we think we love them yeah and we, we want think we love them yeah but i think really it's all coming from the own eye it's because they want or, or you want <laughs> Or I want the, uh, you to be happy. I want you to get this so that you will be happy. That's very common if you actually listen to what but people really say. But really, it's I want to be happy because I'm not Well, happy. for example, the case of when, you know, your parents or, you, you know, someone, they're pushing you to have a kid, for example, to start a family. What's the ultimate? They want to have grandchildren. They mm. want... So it's it's a, it's a desire, it's a want for, to pass on the genes. Mm -hmm. It can be a natural desire, but it's it's also something that perhaps you don't want at this moment in your life, but they want it. It's their want, not yours. Mm -hmm. It's their desire. So it's a bit tricky, isn't it? When well, it's if it's not your want, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you have to understand that. You're not going to give you shouldn't give <laughs> if it's not something you want. <laughs> we're getting in a very we're being very human on this podcast, aren't we? Yeah. So like we're getting mumbled and because fumbled. It's this not is not perfect. it's not programmed. We just said <laughs> we're gonna be talking about being human and we thought, right. And now this is us being human. And with all it's our just flaws a of normal conversation. It's a normal conversation, yeah. And and that's what it's like and to be human. It, well, that's where they take you, these normal. Yeah. They're messy. They're messy. You get tired. <laughs> you get stressed. You have strong emotions. You can feel anxious. And you think, what's wrong with me? You know, like you really want to get it together. I mean, I don't know if you've ever had those times mm. when you think, just snap out of it, for God's sake. Just be. Just be, you know, come on. And yeah, one thing is being brave. But sometimes <laughs> you can't be that brave because you're sometimes human you don't and it's feel overwhelming. Brave. <laughs> you don't yeah. want to be brave. Well, yeah, that's it. It's all Sometimes part. you want a human help. You need support. Yes. As humans, we do need a lot of support from yes. other humans. We think we don't. That's a problem now. That's the difference between us and AI, I think, And as I well. think that's the problem with today's society and some cultures like where we are. That, yeah, we think, Western, that we yeah. think that we can be more independent than we really are cut out to be. And we're not independent at all, are we? Well, no. And I think that's what's causing major depression, major anxiety, major everything, really. The fact that we have to feel as if we have to be perfect and be so independent. Do everything by yourself. And do everything. We don't depend on ourselves. If you just think about how society was before, you would find a, a spouse and then you would depend on each other. Now oh you have to be independent. Yeah. You're not allowed to depend on anywhere else. Well, which is just isn't do good. you have to be independent? No, that's what's encouraged. I mean, financially, it's definitely... It's financially and emotionally. They really, say you yeah. have to be emotionally independent 
for yourself to find someone. Well, yes. Yeah, because you don't want to be needy. Because you don't want to be needy. So you have to be independent. (laughs) So it all comes down. There's a lot of pressure on yourself. There's a lot of pressure. You're right, yeah. Everything and whole. Like whole. But if we think a human, are humans whole? They're flawed. They might have, you know, it might be like the fruit. I picked some fruit from my garden. It had all holes in it. It was pecked. (laughs) (laughs) Yuck. Okay. So, yeah, but you could still eat had some a of it. Some, some animal had had a go at it. But you could still eat some. Did you eat some of it was good? Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, I understand yes. that. Yeah. Some of it was okay. We may have our holes and our and our flaws, but hey, you know, we're natural, we're organic, <laughs> yeah, we're human. We're okay. I mean, we're still we're still desirable. Yes. People yeah. still want us even though we may have a few holes here and there. Yeah. yeah. Or being pecked at by the world. <laughs> <laughs> We've been through bad times. We've been pecked at by life. Haven't by we? life, yeah, that's just this life. Is weather a storm. We've yes. weathered many storms. Yes, that's true. As humans, we weather. And the as we weather the storms, we grow stronger. Some of us don't. Some of us grow weaker, which is also human. But from that weakness, with others, how ha- with other people helping with the support, us, with the yeah. support, we can gain strength. We need to find a support group. But we, we have must remember to that as humans, accept yeah. our humanity and accept that we're weak many times. You're right, though. And that we need friends and we need connections. We must and we accept need, that, yeah. We need help a lot And it's times. difficult sometimes to accept, isn't it? Well, yeah, because we think, no, I should be. I'm an adult. I should be yeah, able to do that. Yeah, why can't I just go on my own or do that by myself? Yeah. yeah, it's so typical, isn't it? Why is everything so hard? Why am I always so tired? Why do I always feel as if I have to be a certain size or I have to... Uh, Newsflash, you know, you're human. Yeah, I have to <laughs> have a certain amount of possessions by the time yeah. I'm 30 or whatever. Yeah. Oh, come on. Well, you know why? Yeah, I think you've really hit it on the nail there. Yeah. So It's just it's <laughs> typical, isn't it? I think it is. All having to do everything by yourself. Uh, having to be so strong, so independent. No, you don't. Because it, I, <laughs> so if you think about gender roles as well, before it was that males used to suffer a lot because they had like all the financial, maybe in some in some parts of the world, they had all the financial burden on them, and the women had all the 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 emotional burden. But they had to be like emotional support for yes. their male yeah. partners mm-hmm. and for themselves. But it wasn't. Like one person had to have everything. It was like more shared and it was it wasn't equal and it wasn't a good thing. And we moved away from that, which I believe is very good. Yeah. Because we are as women and as men, men are allowed to be more emotional, women Absolutely, are allowed to be more yeah. financially independent. So we're more equal. But I think within that we have to like now we have to, we're going on to the next step where we have to be like more rounded but at Learn the same time yeah. we have to acknowledge that we have these we have been pecked up we have these holes within us yeah that you know so we so we can help each other we can help each other in an in an organic and yeah human way human way yeah to become better than yeah. we were before absolutely mm. so let us know what you think about this humanity about being I'm only sure human you, feel you, you are human and it comes with with all its blessings as well with all our creativity with all our imagination with all our beauty mm, with the ability us. to feel yes absolutely so let us know in the comments and please do come and watch us on youtube and please do subscribe yes yeah, subscribe and follow us yeah. Follow us wherever you are and give us a shout out. Come and see us on Instagram at Get Real with the English Sisters or at the English Sisters. And on Twitter too with the same handles. See you soon. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Lots of love from the English English Sisters. Sisters. Bye. Bye.